How's it going? This is Tim, bringing you guys daily deals with Tim, where I talk about tech, crypto, and stock deals, all for you guys. And before I start, this is my personal opinion and not a financial advice. So for today, we're going to look at Chinese exchanges stopping and what's next for the crypto market or the crypto world. So um, if you guys haven't heard, uh, BTCC, one of the leading Bitcoin platforms in China, one of the uh, Bitcoin exchange in China, is uh, stopping on September 30th. So I'm going to read the tweet to you guys. Uh, it's from BTCC, Twitter account. After carefully considering the announcement published by Chinese regulators on September 4th, BTC China Exchange will stop all trading on September 30th. So what does this mean? So as one of the leading platforms in China, the Bitcoin exchanges are soon to be um, stopping in general, in my opinion. Well, um, I do not have the crystal ball in my hand. So I cannot tell 100% of what's going to happen. However, I can make some educated guesses based on the previous evidence or the facts that I have and what uh, influential and very uh, leading dominating figures in the industry have said is going to happen. So uh, if you guys check out my video, my previous video about the China FUD and the Bitcoin uh, ban on China, uh, during that video, I looked at two tweets from uh, two influential figures. Um, it, you could actually see the faces right here. It's uh, Charlie Lee and Jihan Wu. So when I looked at Charlie Lee's tweet that he made a couple, was it yesterday or two days ago? Uh, he said that um, through an anonymous source that he trusts fully, China uh, will ban Bitcoin exchanges. And, and yeah, it's happening right now. Um, I think uh, when, when I went through the video that time, um, I was pretty sure that <clears throat> what Charlie Lee was saying was true, even though at first it, it was I, I thought of it as a joke. However, uh, after looking at the evidences, um, I believe uh, Charlie Lee uh, has said the correct thing. So uh, this is just a start. BTCC is um, officially stopping on September 30th. And I believe there are a couple or a couple or many more exchanges that will stop by uh, September 30th or near that time. And the reason is that um, China has put some regulations or is increasing regulation on Bitcoin exchanges. And that is further supported by Jihan Wu, where he said um, that these exchanges do not have the right license to operate. And China, in order to regulate them, um, they need to have the correct right licenses, but if they don't have anything, um, China, China can simply just stop them because they don't have the right to operate. So I believe that is a reasonable argument or reasonable support on why these exchanges are closing, not closing down, but stopping, um, probably temporarily stopping. That is my uh, guess. They could uh, come back up. That's what Jihan Wu says, but they would need the right licenses and uh, issue to them. So what does this mean uh, for the next couple of days or next couple of weeks, even next couple of months? Well, uh, this is only the start of the China exchange stoppage. And I believe there are a couple more to go, as I said uh, earlier. And uh, how this will affect the crypto market is another thing. Because, um, at least for me, I know that there's going to be uh, China exchanges or China Bitcoin exchanges in general are going to close, not close, but stop all trading by around this uh, September 30th date. It's not surprising to me because um, I have heard it from these uh, fi influential figures and I was kind of, everyone kind of knows that it's going on, but there hasn't been an official statement yet from these exchanges. And this was the first one that was announced. 
And after this announcement, the market dropped heavily. Uh, there was a big dip. And I'm guessing when the other exchanges come out and say their exchange will be stopping as well, market will drop. However, I don't think it will drop as much as BTCC's uh, statement dropped the market. Um, but that said, it, it depends on the timing as well, because um, I believe if the exchanges uh, come out with a tweet or announcement every couple of days, I believe that the same thing will happen again. Because um, as you can see, China has been announcing these, um, these major uh, regulation statements almost every couple of days. Now, if they announced everything at once, all the exchanges and all the Chinese official, they just came out one day and said, we're all doing the same thing. We're stopping the exchange by September 30th. And I believe the drop will be as similar as today's when the BTCC came out because everyone is agreeing that the Bitcoin exchanges are stopping. However, when you separate them over time, Let's say, so first of all, China, there was a rumor that China was going to ban exchanges. That dropped the market. And then Chinese official came out saying they're going to regulate ICOs and regulate the exchanges. It dropped even more. And then BTCC came out with the official statement saying they're going to stop trading. And it dropped even more. And I believe that this, this separating the statements, I don't know if, the, if this is a conspiracy theory where they're trying to drop the Bitcoin price to an all-time low, but I believe the timing of the statements have a big effect. So um, I don't know how they will do it, but I I believe that there is a little more room to go down. So um, I'll talk about other uh, advices on trading or buying or selling right now, and so. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you guys want to support the channel, click on the affiliate links below. And as always, I'll bring you guys more deals on Daily Deals with Tim.